Hi guys, uh, Ant3D here. Just to um, quick, quick look at the uh, 3D printed bottle rocket, um, which is called the Gasha 2. Some of you might have seen it on the uh, on my uh, Facebook or my YouTube channel, as you can see there. Um, this is the Mark 2. This is the Mark 1. Now the Mark 1 did fail just at the bottom there. So I'll get back in the frame. Duh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I made some slight adjustments to this model. Let's get rid of it, we don't want that now. Um, so we're just gonna um, see if this will fire. We're gonna try it about 20 to 40 psi to start with. Has been sealed. So I sealed it with some uh, Z epoxy. Uh, it does hold pressure, so let's see. I'll fill it up. And I've got a camera down on the floor here. I'm gonna watch it take off. I'll try and do my best to monitor it as it goes up, but I'm single-handled today, so um, I'll do my best. And guys, let's try this, shall we? Right, here goes. <laughs> hey, successful. Good. Let's have a look where it ends. <laughs> It did nose dive straight into the ground, which that's good because of the weight is on the front of the nose. Um, just need to figure out a parachute deployment system. Okay then guys, it looks like the Gusher Mark II is a successful test flight. Happy days. Let's try and do another. Okay guys, let's try this. Try and get happy launch. Right, 40 psi. Well done guys, successful. Okay then guys, that was Gusher Mark II. It was a successful test flight. Um, I will stick a altitude meter on it at some point. Um, but if anybody out there who knows how to make a simple electronic uh, parachute deployment system, that would be fantastic. And leave, a, leave me a little um, mention in the comments and I'll get back to you. Excellent, cheers guys. The